You know, I count it a privilege to be able to bring you this podcast. Uh, this this is something that the Lord called me to do years and years ago, and and He's refined it over the years, and 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 led me in a little different direction. Uh, when I began, I just I was just called to preach and called to teach people what the Lord had opened my eyes to. But over the years, he's he's kind of nudged me in the direction of teaching people who they are in Christ. And I go back and listen to the, the you know some of the very first messages I ever preached on on this podcast. And the whole time he was he was like leading me in this direction. And the, we're starting this uh, this new. Uh, your place in here series and with the first last week was the first week and this is week two of your place in him and what we're doing we're going back through this in him scripture card uh, the first time we done it we didn't go exactly by the card we we started out with a sheet of paper and went through all those and then ended up adding a bunch to it so so this time we're going to go complete completely through this card the way we should have done it the first time. But but there's another reason, because uh, when we started this In Him Scripture Study videos, we, we started them and had no idea on how to do these videos. Well, some of the first videos, for a big, biggest part of that whole In Him Scripture Study series were the, the videos were terrible. And... Uh, it was just, we were just learning how to do it. So the Lord's led me to go back through this and do it again because we've got a better handle on the videos. Not to say that we, we they couldn't be a lot better because they could. But we're, we're working with what we've got and we're so thankful that we've got a church that, that allows us to use their equipment and do it there. But we need not only... Uh, equipment but we need people that know how to use this equipment to the best of its abilities and we don't have that right now but you know we're still just uh trudging forward striving to do the best we know how with these videos that's the reason we've, we've started this in him scripture study again i want to encourage you to contact this ministry and get one of these in him scripture cards and you can go right straight through this card on a uh, daily basis on the weekday podcast, but on Sundays we 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 recap all these scriptures and do it uh, as one video. And uh, not to say you're not going to get a, a, a more out of the weekday study because we take more time in those things, but it's just the way God's led this ministry to do because our our mission on this ministry in this ministry our commission of god is to teach people who they are in christ not who they are in their feelings or not who they are in religion or their self-righteousness but who who they have been made to be in christ jesus and that's so important so if you've not started this video uh series with us or this new uh, uh your place in him series go back just a week a week ago, and and start this study with us and find out who God's teaching you that you are in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And how is he teaching it? Through somebody that that found out years ago that I was a whole lot more in my, in my Christianity that I never, ever knew that I was. And it all come out of the truth in God's Word. My prayers for today come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, we've done this for years. We've done these prayers, and I want to encourage you to go through these prayers and find out what the Word says and, and listen to what how much God loves you because there's millions that don't know how much He cares, how much He loves us and wants us to know that. So that's the reason I've, I've, I've adopted these prayers for the world that we live in 
Paul wanted the Ephesians to know it, and I want the world to know it today. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3, 14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth, I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ. Though it is too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he opens my eyes to that love more and more every day. And he does it through his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Father, guide me. Use me today. Touch my mind and touch my mouth. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Now, this scripture today that we're going to be reading, we're going to be looking at, gives us a an understanding of what Jesus Christ has given us the privilege to live in, and that is triumph in him, uh, being able to overcome in him. Let, let, let me read this. 2 Corinthians 2 and 14, chapter 2 and the 14th verse of the King James Version. It says, Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus and makes manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. The New Living Translation says, But thank God he has made us his captive and continues to lead us along in Christ's triumphal, triumphant procession. It says, Now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere like a sweet perfume. Wow. Do you realize that? Uh, it, it, when we come to come to know where we stand with, with God, we come to know that we're more than conquerors in Him. We're more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and and we can we can uh, go along and 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 take part in Christ, our Lord and Savior, triumphant procession. In other words, walk in that victory, walk in Him in Christ Jesus. Let me read it in the Amplified Classic. It says, But thanks be to God, who in, who in Christ always leads us in triumph as trophies of Christ's victory. And through us spreads and makes evident the fragrance of the knowledge of God, God everywhere. See, what, what were we talking about yesterday? That, that God wants to use us. 
He wants us to to be so used of him and 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 wants us to listen to me. He wants us to be uh, made strong. He wants us to know that we're strong. He wants us to know where we stand and what he has given us to walk in. And that's God's triumph. Jesus Christ, what he done. We're more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. There ain't nothing in this world I can't do or overcome in him, in Christ Jesus. And 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 that there's millions upon millions upon millions of people out here in, in this world that don't know that. They don't know that God wants them to to be used of him out here in this world to help people, to help them see this and realize this. Listen listen to uh John sixteen thirty three. This is a prime example of of, of what Jesus died to give us. This is this is what Jesus said. It says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. Lord, don't we all need peace? I do, every day of my life. It says, In me, that in me you might have peace. He said, In this world you shall have tribulation. Let me stop right there a minute. There's it there's people in this world that that's all they see in that verse. They don't see anything that about Jesus Christ wanting them to have peace in him. All they see is in this world, well, I'm going to have tribulation. And I'm just you're just going to tough it out and, and trudge through the heat and the cold and, and, and do all that I can do to make it through. No, they ain't, they ain't heard half what this verse is saying. They, I'm telling you, there's a, there's a reason that Christ wants us to, to triumph in Him, because He wants the, He wants us to be the 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 bearers of the good news that God Himself has has set them apart, commissioned them, sanctified them, justified them, and 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 sent them out here in this world to be a light and a help. And I'm gonna tell you something: you can't do that without God's peace in your heart. You can't do that without God's peace in your heart. Jesus said this, wrote this verse for us. He spoke this. Now, I'm going to read the whole thing. And you listen to the end part of this verse. The whole thing, John sixteen thirty three. it says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. He said, In this world you shall have peace tribulation he said but he said be of good cheer i have overcome the world let me let me give you the good news for today you are the same overcomer that jesus christ your lord and savior is in him in him what he overcome you can overcome in christ jesus See, it don't has it has nothing to do with with our strength. It has nothing to do with how good we are. It has everything to do with residing in the in the place that God has given us. We're more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Not just a conqueror, but more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And God wants us to live in that. Walk in that and know without a shadow of a doubt that anything that comes against us, we are well capable of overcoming it. We are well capable of being strong in the truth of God's word, being strong in him. Said the world became or the word became flesh and dwelled among us. And when we want to hear from God, if we want to see God uh, work in our lives. We want to hear him speak to us. All we've got to do is open up his book and start reading it out loud. And that's God speaking to us through our voice, through him, because uh, our voice is bringing the truth to our ears to make, to build a faith in God that cannot be broken, 
cannot be defeated. And it's triumph. Yeah, he wants, he, what, let me go back to the New Living Translation of this verse. Second Corinthians 2.14 in the New Living Translation says, But thank God he has made us his captives and continues to lead us along in Christ, apostrophe S, triumphal procession. Now he uses us to spread that knowledge of Christ everywhere like a sweet perfume. He said not only is he, is he leading us in the victory to overcome anything in this world, but he has he is using us in Christ like a sweet perfume to spread the knowledge of Jesus Christ and what Jesus Christ died to give us to, to do for us. My Lord, come to that conclusion today. Come to that conclusion that you're more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. That in Christ Jesus, you're the same overcomer that he is. He said, in this world, you're going to have tribulation. He said, but hold on. Don't don't lose hope in that. He said, be of good cheer. I have overcome the worlds. And I'm going to read that uh, that last part of that verse again, or the first part of that verse again. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. He said, in me you've got the peace of God. And it, 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 and it comes from God's Spirit dwelling in every one of God's born-again children. It comes from the Spirit of God taking up His abode in us. And, 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 and you say, well, how do, I, how do I come to this conclusion? How do I know what God's saying to me? You listen. You read His Word. And you listen, not with the ears, but with your heart, that inner man not with this blood pump in your chest, but that inner man that says, I'm going to hear what God's Word says. I know what God's Word says. The Bible says we have the mind of Christ. Well, how do you have the mind of Christ? Because the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, God's Spirit. And all through this Bible, it talks about the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of God that dwells in us. Look here, God is in us. Walking and talking and operating us, we all in us. All we have to do is believe Him and stand in what His Word says. And God wants to use us. We're God's hands and feet. We we have been commissioned in this world to go into all the world and proclaim the good news. And if it's ever going to get proclaimed, it's going to come through one of God's born again children or millions of God's born again children. Hear me today. God wants you wants you to know that He has called and commissioned you. He has anointed you to spread the good news, the knowledge of God everywhere you go through the through the Spirit of God that dwells in you as a born again child of God. Believe that. Stand in that. Stand in the truth of God's word. Now listen to me today. If you've never been born again, if you've never allowed Jesus Christ to come into your heart and into your life and save you, today is the day. Let God's Word come into your heart, into your life, and change you. Change you by by seeing you born again by faith and confessing Jesus as Lord. Romans 10 and 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus... And thou shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. It says you shall be saved. It don't say you might be if you're good enough. It says if you'll confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. It says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Do that today. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life. Confess him as Lord. Invite him in. I'm not asking you if you've begged God to forgive you 10,000 times. I'm asking you if you have allowed Jesus Christ to come into your heart and into your life and save you. Have you said, Lord, you are my Lord and Savior today. I accept you as my Lord and Savior by faith. I proclaim you as my Lord and Savior 
by faith because I believe in my heart that I that God raised you from the dead to justify you and that's all to justify me rather and that is all I need to be born again God wants you to do that if you've never made Jesus Lord. He wants to save you today. He wants to for you to give your heart and life to Him and then find out what God's Word says to you, for you, and about you. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch Him change your life forever. Glory to God. Hey, listen, go to our website. Download this phone app. This phone app is 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 just made for you to find out what God made you to be, who he made you to be in Christ Jesus, and it's free. Download it today. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. Now listen, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you so much for uh, just listening to God and Allowing him to move you to to help us further his kingdom through the truth in God's word going out all over this planet on this podcast, through these videos that go into the jails and prisons, through Facebook, YouTube. I mean, there's there's all kinds of different platforms that this podcast goes out on, and it's all to reach people for the glory of God. And partners, you got a part in that. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you for all that you sow into this ministry. A hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. Now, if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.